For many, a home ownership is still a dream. Moving from renting can seem like oh, an impossible mission. But if you plan ahead and carefully budget, the goal of home ownership can be yours. When budgeting how much home you can afford, it's important to understand and anticipate the cost of owning and maintaining the home. Here are a few things that some first time buyers forget to include. Yikes, number one, private mortgage insurance. This is added onto your mortgage when the down payment is less than 20%. You can buy a home with less money, but you'll pay the PMI, which covers the lender, should a homeowner default on the loan. As you build up equity, your PMI drops off. Number two, taxes. Property taxes generate revenue for municipalities, counties, and schools. It's an expense that can vary across the U.S. However, on average, it's 1.38% of the home's value. Back East tends to have the highest property taxes. Number three, HOA fees. Look, homeowners association fees can add several hundred dollars to your monthly household expenses. These HOAs help to maintain common areas, typically within condominium complexes. Yes, they also govern what can be done to the unit and the surrounding area. While there is an upside to HOAs, some buyers prefer to have more freedom over their property perhaps until the neighbor paints his house turquoise with red accents. Oh my goodness. Number four, homeowner's insurance. Lenders require homeowner's insurance on your property. The amount you'll pay depends on many variables, including where you live, the age, type, size, all of this of your home. For example, older homes can cost more to insure due to the fact that they may require more repairs than newer homes. Also, high hazard areas can cost more to insure, and some insurance companies just may not offer insurance policy for your home if you're in a high risk area. Number five, utilities and appliances. These areas can be overlooked because often when people are renting, the appliances are taken care of. True, when you own your home, be sure to consider expenses such as the water heater or dishwasher breaking down. While you can't exactly figure out when an appliance is gonna quit working, you can set monthly allowance aside to start establishing a household repair fund. Just don't touch the account until you really need it. Sure. You'll find that it's not there for you if you do. Finally, inspections, appraisals, and well, even closing costs. Many buyers understand that they will have closing costs, but they fail to budget for other items such as home inspection. Yes, sometimes inspections are paid for by the seller, but it's usually the buyer who pays for the inspection. And even if the homeowner recently had a home inspection and has the report, a buyer well still might want to pay for an inspector to have another look to compare the findings. Depending on the home, there may also be other inspections such as for lead paint, pest or radon gas. True. While the extra expenses do add up quickly, if you carefully budget and plan ahead, the goal of home ownership is achievable and very satisfying. Well, that's all for us here today at Realty Times, but be sure to come again next week for all the latest news and advice.